Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum everyone. Today we are going to conduct lecture number 41 of our course and topic of this lecture is transmit status register, right? TXSTA register. This is basically read as transmit status register, right? So let's see what we have in this register to understand. Okay, transmit status and control register. So TXTA stands for transmit status and control register. Uh, as we have been discussing other registers of PIC 18F microcontroller. So PIC 18F microcontroller is eight bit microcontroller. So every bit is composition of eight different bits. So here we have zoom in uh, different eight bits of TX STA register, right? Transmit status and control register. So very first bit that we have to consider is CSRC. And uh, that is basically uh, will be always treated as zero. That means you will always put here zero because it is uh, clock source select and this is option is not, uh, this option will not be available for asynchronous mode, right? So we will be uh, discussing only asynchronous mode of serial board communication. That is why we will always put it zero, right? The, uh, the second bit is basically TX9. TX9 uh, is like, you know, that we have, we have uh, configured serial port uh, programming for 8-bit of serial communication. But uh, if you want to choose uh, 9th bit, for example, if you want to send the parity of 8-bits uh, along with along with, with those 8-bits uh, as, as a ninth bit, for example, if your data is 0, 0, 1, 1, 0. So here your parity is what? Parity is even parity. So you will uh, you can send actually even parity as a ninth bit. So if you want to send the nine bit information, so you can actually use this specific bit and you can, uh, this would be, this will be equal to one and the bit will be shared in the last, in the least significant bit, which is TX nine D, D for data. So let's say if your parity is zero, it is going to be stored here, right? If you are not using uh, nine bit information, you will simply put it equal to zero. Okay, the third bit is transmit enable bit. It, it will always be equal to one if you are going to uh, enable the serial port communication or if you are uh, going to transmit uh, certain information, right? So you will put here one always if you want to transmit something. If you do not want to transmit or you do not want to use you are pick 18F microcontroller as transmitter. So you will put here zero, right? So for uh, one will be used for transmission purpose and zero will be used if you are not enabling transmission mode, right? So the fourth bit is basically sync bit and sync bit is related to uh, synchronization purpose and synchronization is involved always in synchronous communication since we are dealing with asynchronous. So this bit all, this bit, this bit will be equal to zero. If you are going to uh, program for synchronous serial port communication, then you will put here one, otherwise it will be zero. Uh, the fifth bit is zero by default. You don't need to change its status. It will always remain zero, right? Let me... Okay, now we come to another important bit, which is called BRGH, which is baud rate high or baud rate generation high bit, right? So that bit can be uh, zero or it can be one, but we will be using it zero. Zero is basically used for, so zero is uh, whenever a BRGH bit is equal to zero, that means you are going to work or you are going to transmit serial communication at low baud rate. And if BRGH is equal to one, that means you are going to transmit uh, at high baud rate, right? So what is difference between low baud rate and high baud rate? Here we need to consider the formula. So this is a formula that we discussed when we were considering serial port baud rate generator register. Baud rate is equal to FOCS over 64 by X plus one. We remember uh, we discussed this thing that 64 comes from the fact that uh, by four or division by four is default uh, because it is pick 18F microcontroller and by 16 or division by 16 is involved here due to uh, 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 USART communication, right? Or max 23T, uh, max 232 converters, right? But uh, this division by 16 can be actually sc scaled to uh, by four as well. That means by four of, uh, 
pick 18 f and division of USART is 16. That is why it is 64. So this 16 can be scaled or can be lowered down to four. So it will actually convert into four into four equal to 16. So that means this 64 will scale down to 16 if we scale down this value, right? So that means what, what will be the effect in overall the formula? Uh, since we are decreasing the denominator, that means uh, the baud rate will increase. And that is going to happen if BRGH is equal to uh, one, right? So that is why I have mentioned here, if you consider BRGH is equal to one, uh, then uh, we will be dealing with high baud rate transmissions. And if BRGH is equal to zero, that means we are going to deal with low baud rate transmission. But in uh, our course, when we are dealing with asynchronous serial communication, we will be dealing always with low baud rate. So that is why we will put zero in BRGH. Next bit is TRMT bit. And that is basically related to, if you remember, we have discussed uh, TSR register or transmit shift register, right? Okay, uh, if you remember, whatever the information we wanted to transmit, we will, we will uh, move that information into transmit register or transmitter register. And then there will be uh, framing will be done by TSR register, which is called transmit shift register. It will actually add start and stop bits and then serially transmit this information via TX pin. That means uh, information will always fetch from transmitter register and will be copied into TSR register. That uh, so if transmitter transmitter shift register has uh, added uh, start and stop bits and transmitting it, so you cannot actually transmit another information because your one transmission is already going on. So that is basically notified by this specific bit, which is called TRMT bit. So if TRMT bit is equal to zero, that means TSR register is busy and you cannot transmit it. Uh, and if uh, uh, or T uh, TSR is basically full, uh, TSR has already information. So that is the thing that you have to consider if TR empty bit is equal to zero, that means TSR is full or busy, already transmitting something. And if TR empty, TR empty bit, right? Let me correct it. It is TR empty. So TR empty is equal to one. That means TSR is empty and is ready uh, for the new transmission. So generally it should be zero because we will always consider that TSR has already completed his success. Uh, he's already busy. And once we are going to start our transmission, it then it will accept. So we will also put here in this specific bit always zero. And TX90, I have already explained it is related with the TX9 uh, bit. So if you consider, this is the generalized format for which you will always use for TS, TXSTA or transmit status register. 0010, that becomes equal to two in hacks and 000, that becomes zero in hacks. So you will always move this information in our course when we are dealing with synchronous, asynchronous serial port communication and we are dealing or we are transmitting at the low baud rate. So that means you will always move literal to working two zero hacks and you will move that information into TXSTA as far as our course is concerned. Uh, and we will move always this value in transmit status register. Okay, that's it from this video tutorial. If you have any confusion or questions, please post your queries in comment section. Thank you so much for listening.